those rounds are just too big for me to pick up. So we're gonna bust these up into probably quarters and then that'll be big enough to where I can just pick them up easily without straining my back and put them on the splitter. All right, let's get to splitting. All right, that's kind of what I'm going for on every piece here. Whew, we're off from swinging that mall, plus I just had a bunch of salmon. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna bust those up, get the splitter. Let's do it. I originally had a video of me chopping up those rounds into the pile that you see here, but I forgot to hit record on the GoPro, so oh well. All right, this one's got the safety on it, so you gotta be on the left side to do it. You can be on the other side, but it's just it's not as comfortable. So I was just stand right behind it, reach behind me and grab it. <clears throat> or ideally it works better if you're on the other side, but I've got a bunch of stuff there. I can't really get in there. So I'm just going to start splitting with this. Let's do it. And every time I operate this splitter, I always wear earplugs and safety glasses. So if you know anything about firewood, you know that dead ash splits like a dream. So the splitter has no problem completely just knocking these pieces out and totally splitting them up. However, whenever it does struggle a little bit, is on the next piece here that I show. This piece had a knot at the end, and just like any piece that's difficult to split with a maul, this 22 ton kinetic log splitter will do the same thing. You just have to flip it over and hit the other side, and it will usually split right through it. So this piece here, it was kind of not wanting to split. All I had to do was flip it over and bam, right through it. This next piece here is uh, very important to dress whenever you're thinking about getting one of these splitters. Watch how it does it. So that piece was not cut completely flush at the end, it was more at an angle. And whenever you put it in there, It'll fling it out, and if you're not careful, it can hit you. It can really injure you as well. From this angle, the splitter doesn't look like it's really putting a lot of power into the punches whenever it hits the wood. But let me tell you, it really is, and it's hitting it nice and hard. So on this piece, as you can see, it's not really wanting to split, but after I pick it up, you can see that there was a little bit of a knot in it. So all you have to do is just flip it over and adjust it, and usually bust start through it, just like I said. And I decided to bring that piece back up that wasn't cut very flush or straight, just to show that you have to stand back when you're doing a piece like this or it'll fly off and hit you. Whenever I have a piece like this, I usually just hit it with my mull and bust it. Then it makes it a lot safer and I can split it with the splitter. Then here I just want to hit a few more angles just to show you guys how it looks whenever you're using the splitter. All right, and here's the finished product, guys. Ended up cutting, not quite a rick. I'm not really sure how much this is, but it's getting pretty close to it. And a rick of wood to people around here is a four foot high by eight foot long. But yeah, in general, split it pretty good. If you're not splitting anything super hard or super green, it'll do it pretty well. Like you saw whenever I was doing that. It will sling some pieces out. You just gotta be careful and know what you're doing. I'm gonna post the full in-depth review of my splitter here in a little while, just so people can know more about it before they buy it because I didn't really see a good one on YouTube. So I'll put that up. If you guys like the video, give it a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, have a good one.